Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on the concessions, financial and other concessions for inclusive learners. Let us straight away enter into the topic. Kindly subscribe if you wish. I am sure it will add some value to my videos. So far you have supported me. Thank you very much for your generosity. Continue to support me. I will be giving quite a lot of videos for your success in life, your success in various examinations. Let us try to enter into the topic. Let us try to enter into the topic. Concessions and the facilities to diverse facilities to diverse both diverse academic and financial. Academic so and academic concessions and facilities, financial concession and facilities to diverse learners, learners with disabilities or uh, marginalized groups or any other uh, you know groups that need our help, you know the help of the government. In any educational system, it is important to ensure that all learners, that all learners regardless of their backgrounds or abilities have equal opportunities to succeed. Diversity in the classroom comes in many forms, cultural, linguistic, socio-economic and academic. To support these diverse learners, educational institutions offer various concessions and facilities, both academic and financial, to help them achieve their full potential. What are the various academic concessions for diverse learners? Academic concessions are designed to assist students who face challenges in learning due to various reasons. These students may have disabilities, come from different cultural backgrounds or face difficulties in understanding the language of instruction. Academic support ensures that these students do not fall behind in their studies. One of the primary academic facilities is specialized tutoring or mentorship. Some students may struggle with particular subjects and tutors or mentors can provide extra help to ensure they understand the material. This personalized attention can make a big difference in their academic performance. Extra time is another common concession given to students with disabilities or learning difficulties. For example, students with dyslexia and those with physical disabilities may need additional time to complete exams or assignments. This accommodation allows them to perform to the best of their abilities without the added pressure of strict time, time limits. limits. Another, Another important, important academic, academic concession, concession is, is alternative, alternative assessment, assessment methods. methods. Not, Not all, all students perform well under traditional, traditional testing methods. methods. Some may benefit more from oral presentations, projects or uh, take home assignments. By providing different ways to assess students, Institutions ensure that all learners have the opportunity to show their understanding in a way that suits their abilities. Access to learning materials is also crucial. For students who face language barriers or learning disabilities, having access to translated materials or assistive technologies like text-to-speech software can make learning more accessible. For example, students with visual impairments may use screen readers while those with hearing impairments may need a sign language interpreters or captioned videos. Moreover, curriculum adaptations may be made to cater to diverse learners. This might involve simplifying the language used in teaching materials or offering courses that accommodate different learning styles. Teachers may also employ different teaching strategies such as visual aids or hands-on activities to ensure that all students grasp the concepts being taught. What are the financial concessions for diverse learners? Financial support is another important area where educational institutions can provide help to students from diverse backgrounds. Many students face financial barriers that make it difficult for them to continue their education. To ensure that no student is left behind, institutions offer various financial concessions. One of the most common forms of financial assistance is scholarships. Scholarships are awarded to students based on merit or need and can cover full or partial tuition fees. This helps students who excel academically but lack the financial resources to pay for their education. 
Scholarships also provide opportunities for students from underprivileged backgrounds to pursue higher education without the burden of financial stress. Financial aid programs are also available to students who may not qualify for a scholarship but still need financial assistance. These programs can cover a range of expenses from tuition fees to living costs. <coughs> financial aid is often offered as a loan which students can repay after completing their studies and securing employment. In some cases, financial aid may be provided as grants which do not require repayment. Another form of financial support is a fee waivers. I mean, uh, uh, need not pay anything. Uh, fee waiving. Fee waivers to students who are from low income families or who have demonstrated financial hardships. These fee waivers can cover tuition fees, exam fees or other related costs making education more affordable for students in need. Work study programs are another financial facility offered to students. These programs allow students to work part-time on campus to earn money that helps cover their educational expenses. This allows students to gain valuable work experience while reducing their financial burden. Uh, this uh, Loyola College in Chennai is offering uh, such a facility for the students. While they are uh, learning, they can learn inside the campus itself by indulging in certain tasks in the back area or uh, other, other works like that. And they are even allowed, Loyola College students are allowed uh, to do part-time education also in the afternoon. A few hours they go out and do something and that way they are able to meet their expenses for studies, uh, poor students especially. Government assistance programs also play a significant role in supporting diverse learners financially. Many governments provide funding to students from disadvantaged backgrounds. This can include grants, <coughs> low interest loans or, or support, support for specific, specific groups, groups such as such students with disabilities or those from rural areas. These programs ensure that all students regardless of their financial situation have the opportunity to pursue their education. Now let us talk about inclusive policies for diverse learners. To support both, both academic and financial concessions, many educational institutions implement inclusive policies. These policies aim to create an environment where all students, regardless of their differences, feel valued and supported. Inclusive policies often include provisions for anti-discrimination, equal access to resources and support for special needs students. These policies are vital in ensuring that educational institutions remain welcoming and equitable. They help create an atmosphere where diverse learners feel encouraged to pursue their academic goals without the fear of being left behind. When students are supported both academically and financially, they are more likely to succeed and contribute positively to society. So what could we give as the concluding remarks? In conclusion, uh, providing academic and financial concessions to diverse learners is essential for creating an inclusive and equitable educational system. Academic concessions such as specialized tutoring, extra time, alternative assessments and access to learning materials ensure that all students have the opportunity to succeed in their studies. On the financial side, scholarships, uh, financial aid, fee waivers, work study programs and government assistance help reduce the financial burden on students from disadvantaged backgrounds. By offering these supports, the educational institutions ensure that learners from all walks of life have the opportunity to achieve their educational goals and contribute to society. Let us analyze some of the questions. What is the main purpose of academic concessions? Just see for yourself all the four alternatives. That is. <coughs> to support students facing challenges, difficulties in learning. <coughs> Academic concessions are meant to assist students who face challenges in learning due to various reasons like disabilities or language barriers. Which of the following is an example of academic support? There is specialized tutoring among these four, example of academic support. 
It was scholarship is a financial support. So what is the academic support? The specialized tutoring is a form of academic support that provides extra help to students who may be struggling in particular subjects. What does the extra time in academic concessions help with? That is, the extra time allows the students, particularly those with disabilities, to complete exams or assignments without time pressure. So that is the question. No? What, is, uh, what does extra time in academic concessions help with? Which of the following is a common alternative assessment method among the four which is the right, right. That is the oral presentation type projects, projects. Especially, especially for the, the learners, learners with disabilities. Uh, alternative assessments such as oral presentation type projects, projects offers students different, students different ways to demonstrate, to demonstrate their understanding. understanding. How do How learning, learning materials, materials help diverse learners? learners? That is by, by providing, providing access, access to content, content in different, different languages, languages and languages formats. Access to translated materials and assistive technologies helps learners who face language barriers or have disabilities. What is the purpose of curriculum adaptations for diverse learners? Among the four pages that I just that is to ensure all learners can understand and content. That is the idea of giving alternative materials. Curriculum adaptations help ensure that all students, including those with learning difficulties, can grasp the concepts being taught. Which of the following is an example of financial support? That is scholarship. Scholarships are a form of financial support often awarded based on merit or need to help cover tuition fees. What is the main benefit of financial aid programs? Out of the four, which is the right one? To help students from low income families cover educational expenses. So that is the idea here. Financial aid programs help students from low income families cover the cost of their education, including tuition and living expenses. What is a fee waiver? I mean, uh, you know, not paying anything at all, uh, simply allowing uh, students freely. That's the idea here. Fee waiver among the four, which is the right one. That is a form of financial aid that reduces or eliminates fees. A fee waiver is a financial concession that reduces or eliminates the cost of tuition, exam fees or other charges for eligible students. Which of the following describes a work study program? That is uh, a program that allows students to work part time to earn money, money for, for education. education. Work study work programs study program allow students, students to work part time often on campus to help cover their educational expenses. What is the role of government assistance programs for students? That is, uh, to offer support for grants and loans to students from disadvantaged backgrounds. Government assistance programs provide financial support such as grants and low interest loans to students from disadvantaged backgrounds. Which of the following is an example of an inclusive policy in education? That is, Offering equal access to resources for all students. That is an example of an inclusive policy in education. Okay. Inclusive policies ensure that all students have equal access to educational resources and opportunities regardless of their background. What is the ultimate goal of offering academic and financial concessions to diverse learners? That is to ensure all students regardless of their background can succeed. That is the idea here. The goal is to provide equal opportunities for all students to succeed academically, regardless of their challenges or backgrounds. What does specialized tutoring provide to students? Specialized tutoring, that is uh, personalized to help to understand subject better. Specialized tutoring offers students personalized to help to better understand subjects they may be struggling with. Why is extra time important for students with disabilities? Maybe to give them more time to complete tasks without being rushed. That is the idea here. The extra time helps students with disabilities such as dyslexia to complete exams without the stress of strict time limits. How can different assessment methods help students? That is, by allowing students to demonstrate their knowledge in ways that suit their strengths. 
different assessment methods allow students to show their understanding in ways that suit their abilities such as through projects or presentations what kind of support is given through government assistance programs after the four which is the right one that is financial aid in the form of grants or loans so this kind of support is given through government assistance programs government assistance programs often provide financial aid such as a grants or low interest loans to students in need what is the main goal of fee waivers among the four which is the right one to provide financial relief by reducing or eliminating fees for eligible student especially very very poor student who cannot afford to uh, pay the fee back that is the idea here fee waivers help reduce or eliminate cost like tuition or exam fees for student who face financial hardship why are the work study programs beneficial for students that is they help students gain work experience while earning money to cover expenses work study programs allow students to gain work experience while earning money to cover their education cost what is the benefit of curriculum adaptations for students with diverse learning needs we already seen that that is curriculum adaptations help students with different learning needs such as disabilities or language barriers to understand the material better that is the curriculum adaptation how do inclusive policies benefit students among the four which is the right one how do inclusive policies benefit students that is inclusive policies ensure that all students regardless of their background or abilities have equal access to resources and opportunities what is academic support often include for diverse learners that is extra tutor in time and specialized resources academic support means uh, all this so academic support often includes a tutoring extra time on exams and specialized resources to help students who face learning challenges what do fee waivers primarily help with among the four which is the right one easing the financial burden on students by removing certain fees that is the correct one yes fee waivers help reduce the financial burden on students by removing or lowering fees for tuition and, and exams which of the following does not qualify as financial assistance for students that is specialized tutor you know financial assistant uh, you know it doesn't come under uh, financial assistance specialized tutor it is academic assistance specialized tutoring is academic support not financial assistance scholarships work study programs and fee waivers or financial aids what is the main objective of offering diverse academic and financial concessions to provide equal opportunities for all students to succeed the goal of this concession is to ensure that all students regardless of their challenges or background have an equal opportunity to succeed academically and financially Thank you very much, dear, dear friends. friends. God bless you abundantly. Let us Let meet, us meet in, in another video lecture. lecture. We are handling uh, Net Education uh, Unit Ten, and also it is helpful for B. Ed. Younger students who whoever needs this, uh, uh, you know, inclusive education areas. God bless you abundantly. Let us meet in other video lectures.